If you want to express a line segment as a vector that's written in component form, basically what you're trying to do is move your line segment to where its initial point starts specifically at the origin. So you want to move that line segment down to where its initial point is starting at the origin, but you want it to have the same direction as your line segment and you want it to have the same magnitude or length as your line segment. So here's how you make this happen. For the line segment, let's call the initial point, point P, let's uh, write it as the ordered pair P sub one comma P sub two. So that's an X, Y ordered pair for the starting point or the initial point of the line segment. And we'll call the terminal point Q sub one comma Q sub two. So that's your starting and, in, starting and ending point for the line segment. So to translate this down to the origin, basically all we need is we need the horizontal distance from point P to Q, and we need the vertical distance from P to Q, because if we had those two things, let's say the, the horizontal distance was five and the vertical distance was two, for example, then if you start at the origin, if you went right five units and up two units, then that would be you know, your vector in component form. So really, all we need are just these distances. So here's how we make this happen. So we'll take a vector v in component form will be equal to, um, to get the horizontal distance, we'll take q1 minus p1. That's the x-coordinate for q minus the x-coordinate for p, and that'll give you the distance between P and Q horizontally, and then we'll take Q2 minus P2, and then that'll give you the vertical distance between P and Q. Um, we'll take, we're taking the Y coordinate of Q minus the Y coordinate of P. A little phrase that will help you remember this is simply the phrase terminal minus initial. Always remember terminal minus initial, ending point minus beginning point uh, for the X values and for the Y values. And those differences become the first component in your vector and your second component in your vector written in component form. And we'll do an example of this coming up right now.